Indahias was a small chevrotain like animal, it had similar survival strategy to the African mousey deer which, when threatened by a bird of prey, dives into water and hides beneath the surface for up to four minutes. Pachistus was primarily a land animal, no more amphibious than a taper. It had a thickened skull bone known as the auditory bulla, which was specialized for underwater hearing, such as later cetaceans. It also had thick bones to make the animal heavier to counteract the buoyancy of the water. Ambulostus was a crocodile-like mammal, inhabited the bays and estuaries of the Tethys Sea. It is clear that it tolerated a wide range of salt concentrations, an important transition phase between freshwater and marine habitat. It was unable to support its weight on land. It may suggest it was fully aquatic. Complete abandonment of the land evolved much earlier among cetaceans than previously thought. Cuchistus is probably the smallest Eocene cetacean. Its morphology suggests that it was swimming like modern otters, by caudal undulation. According to stable oxygen isotopes analysis, most remingtonocytids did not ingest fresh water, and had hence lost their dependency on fresh water relatively soon after their origin. Their semicircular canals, which are important for balancing in land mammals, had decreased in size, this modification may represent a crucial point of no return event in cetacean evolution, which excluded a prolonged semi-aquatic phase. A fossil of Rodhostus let suggest it gave birth on land even if it thought to have been fully aquatic, it is thought that they moved in a way similar to haired seals move on land. Protocytids had a nasal opening located farther up the head than in earlier cetaceans, suggesting they could breathe with the head held horizontally, similar to modern whales. Protocetus were the first cetaceans to leave the Indian subcontinent and dispersed to all shallow subtropical oceans of the world. It still had small hind flippers. Basilosaurus were fully recognizable whales which lived entirely in the ocean. It lacked the melanorgan that allows toothed whales to use echolocation. It had small brains. This suggests it was solitary and did not have the complex social structures of some modern cetaceans. It is commonly found in association with dorodontines and were closely related to one another. Zygorhiza fed on small fish and mollusks and lived in warm seas. It replaced their upper and lower deciduous first premolars with permanent teeth. This is very unusual in modern mammals and contrasts to extant toothed whales that only develop a single set of teeth. Around 34 million years ago, Odontocity split apart from baleen whales. A Hynodolphus had complex ears, suggesting that it already hunted by echolocation like modern whales. Its brain was also asymmetrical, a trait found in modern dolphins, and possibly associated with the complexities of navigating its environment. The unique looking of Squalodon were likely distributed throughout the world in Oligocene warm waters, its modern relatives are the river dolphins. These dolphins are relatively small compared to other dolphins, having evolved to survive in warm shallow water and strong river currents. They have well-developed hearing that is adapted for both air and water, they do not really rely on vision since the water they swim in is usually very muddy. River dolphins are thought to have relictual distributions, that is, their ancestors originally occupied marine habitats, but were then displaced from these habitats by modern dolphin lineages. Studies on Amazon River Dolphin show that this animal is very curious and has a remarkable lack of fear of foreign objects. 
its cervical vertebrae are not fused, allowing the head to turn 90 degrees. The Beiji population declined drastically in decades as China industrialized and made heavy use of the river for fishing, transportation and hydroelectricity. It has been credibly claimed that it could be the first dolphin species in history that humans have driven to extinction. Beaked whales are one of the least known groups of mammals because of their deep sea habitat mysterious habits, and apparent low abundance. The most noteworthy characteristic about the Sturgeonagus beaked whale is its saber-like teeth. Liviatin had functional, enamel-coated teeth on the upper and lower jaws, as well as several adaptations for hunting large prey. It was probably the apex predator of the Miocene seas. The whale may have interacted with the megalodon, competing with it for a similar food source. The fossil record suggests that sperm whales were more common during this period. Raw spermaceti is liquid within the head of the sperm whale, and is said to have a smell similar to raw milk. It might be used as a means of altering the whale's buoyancy. Sperm whales usually dive between 300 to 800 meters and sometimes 1 to 2 kilometers in search of food. Such dives can last more than an hour, they feed on several species, notably the giant squid. When sperm whales socialize, they emit complex patterns of clicks called coders. Odobenostops was an early member of the dolphin superfamily, more closely related to narwhals than dolphins, with tusks projecting towards the rear of its body. This suggests that it was a bottom feeder, searching for mollusks and sucking them out of their shells with a powerful tongue. Narwhals may have migrated to Arctic waters in response to changes in the marine food chain during the Pliocene. They can live up to 50 years. They are often killed by suffocation when the sea ice freezes over. The tusk is an innervated sensory organ with millions of nerve endings connecting seawater stimuli in the external ocean environment with the brain. It is most closely related to the beluga whale. This whale is a slow simmer. Its body is round, particularly when well-fed, and tapers less smoothly to the head than the tail. They are cooperative animals and frequently hunt in coordinated groups. Porpoises are not very widespread, with many specializing near the polar regions, usually near the coast. Porpoises feed largely on fish and squid, much like the rest of the odontocetes. Porpoises were, and still are, hunted by some countries by means of drive hunting. Since Finnis porpoise remains in coastal waters, it has a high degree of interaction with humans, which often puts it at risk. It is not really hunted, the primary danger to the species is environmental degradation. Oceanic dolphins have a torpedo-shaped body with an inflexible neck, limbs modified into flippers, non-existent external ear flaps and a bulbous head. They are known to teach, learn, cooperate and scheme. The neocortex of many species is home to elongated spindle neurons that were known only in hominids. Killer whales have the second largest brain mass of any animal on Earth, after the sperm whale. Killer whales are highly social, some populations are composed of matrilineal family groups which are the most stable of any animal species. They are very sophisticated and effective predators of marine mammals, hunting large whales usually takes several hours. Wild killer whales are not considered a threat to humans, but there have been cases of captive orcas killing or injuring their handlers at marine theme parks. Kermesson's dolphin is very active. 
It is often seen swimming rapidly on the surface and leaping from the water. It also spins and twists as it swims and may surf on breaking waves when very close to the shore. Dolphins are capable of making a broad range of sounds using nasal air sacs located just below the blowhole. They communicate with whistle-like sounds produced by vibrating connective tissue, similar to the way human vocal cords function. Despite being found in geographic locations similar to those of true river dolphin, the Tukuxi is not closely related to them genetically. The species resembles the bottlenose dolphin but differs sufficiently to be placed in a separate genus. The earlier varieties of baleen whales, such as Jan Jusitus had very little baleen and relied mainly on their teeth. The development of filter feeding may have been a result of worldwide environmental change and physical changes in the oceans. Echistus teeth are reminiscent of the bite and swallow strategy of odontosity, but they also possessed expanded palate. The whale is not selecting individual prey items and does not use echolocation to find prey. Echistus is unique in its representation of transition from toothed archaeocet to toothless mysticet. However, it is not a transitional form in the strictest sense, that is, it cannot be an ancestor to extant mysticity. One behavior unique to the southern right whale, known as tail sailing, is that of using their elevated flukes to catch the wind, remaining in the same position for considerable amount of time. It appears to be a form of play. Long and slender, the blue whale is the largest animal known to have ever existed. It was abundant in nearly all the oceans on Earth until the beginning of the 20th century. It had been hunted almost to extinction by whalers until protected by the international community in 1966. Both male and female humpback whales vocalize, but only males produce the long, loud and complex song for which the species is famous. They feed in polar waters, and migrate to tropical or subtropical waters to breed and give birth. 